Hi, it's October and I'm Dr. Jean with some new songs for you. Let's do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now let's sing a song about the big fat spider. The big fat spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the big fat spider went up the spout again. Now let's sing a song about the teensy weensy spider. The teensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teensy weensy spider went up the spout again. And a teensy weensy clap. Here's a finger play called Way Up High in the Apple Tree. Way up high in the apple tree, one red apple smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the apple. Mmm, mmm, good. Way up high in the pear tree, two yellow pears smiled down at me. Me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the pears. Mmm, mmm, good. What's another fruit that grows in a tree? Oh, oranges. Way up high in the orange tree, three orange oranges smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the oranges. Mmm, mmm, good. Here's a great nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. We can also sing the Little Miss Muffet song to the tune from Yankee Doodle. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. I have a great snack for this month that you'll love. It's called a spider sandwich. First thing you do is get a slice of bread and cut a circle out of it. I found the easiest thing to do is just to get like a cup or a glass and cut like that. Next, let your child spread peanut butter or cream cheese or honey or anything that they like on top of the bread. There we go. You can use cranberries, dried cranberries, or raisins, or anything else that you would like to let your child make a face on their spider sandwich. And spiders have eight legs, so we're going to use eight pretzel sticks for the spider's leg. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Now, you could also use carrot sticks or celery or something else for that. And here is our spider sandwich. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Here's something you can make this month with your child to go exploring. Binoculars. 
And I'm not talking about the fancy binoculars you buy in the store. I'm talking about the binoculars you make with an old paper towel roll. First, you will need to cut the paper towel roll in half. Second, take tape and tape those two rolls together. There we go. Now at this point, I would give it to your child to let your child decorate it with markers or crayons or stickers or something like that. Your binoculars are going to need a string so you can wear them around your neck. So if you just punch a hole on either side and insert a string and tie it through. And the one thing you want to make sure when you use a string is make it long enough so your child can easily take it on and off their neck. Now we are ready to go outside and go exploring. And you can look for signs of fall. You can look for animal homes. You can look for things that are living, things that are non-living, all sorts of exciting things. These might even be fun to entertain your child on a car trip. An art project that you can do this month with your child is nature rubbings. And all you need is paper and some leaves or feathers or things from nature and a crayon. And use old crayons for this and let your child take the paper off. And all you have to do is place the object on a flat surface, put a sheet of paper on top, rub with the side of a crayon, and you'll see you have a beautiful design. You could also use these to make greeting cards or to make wrapping paper. Here's a fun game that you'll enjoy playing with your child this month. It's called Guess Who I Am. And you and your child can take turns making different animal motions while the other one tries to guess who it might be. I also have some animal riddles that you might like to do with me. I give you milk. Do you want some now? Moo, 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 I'm a... In the dirt I play and dig. Oink, 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 I'm a... I have horns and a beard on my throat. Nah, nah, I'm a... I'll give you a ride on my back, of course. Nay, nay, I'm a cluck, cluck, cluck in the pen. I lay eggs because I'm a who would like my wool to keep? Bah, bah, I'm a I can be white or black or skinny or fat. Meow, meow, I'm a, I'm man's best friend, I'm not a hog, woof, 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 I'm a, when it rains, I'm in luck, quack, quack, I'm a, the library is a great place to check out more riddles and rhymes that you can do with your child. Bye now.